What's going on everybody? So in this video, we are going to be talking about how you can use artificial intelligence to generate more leads, close more deals, and generate more revenue for your business. Now, before we get started, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's go ahead and dive right in. And real quick, a heads up, this video is sponsored by Copy AI, which is one of the most powerful tools and simple tools I personally found when it comes to helping you write your cold email. So if you wanna check out Copy AI, make sure to check the link in the description. Now, everybody knows that artificial intelligence is just taking off, right? It's only getting better and better exponentially every single month, every single industry, no matter you're doing marketing, copywriting, sales, it will absolutely be affected by artificial intelligence. Now, it's not necessarily gonna replace your job, but you can use it to make your job much more easier. So at the end of the day, you know, if you're a salesperson, if you're an entrepreneur, coach, consultant, whatever the case is, and your job is to write cold emails and do outbound and convince people to do business with you, you gotta find ways to save time so that you can focus less on manual work things are just labor intensive and focus more time closing more deals right and so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna give you some of my best tips when it comes to using copy AI to speed up that lead generation process all the way from subject lines writing the body creating variations so let's get into it what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over a hypothetical example and I'm gonna pretend I am a marketing agency and I what I do is I take long-form YouTube content and I turn it into blogs right long-form blogs so that people can put it on their website Website, get SEO traffic traffic comes in they make money from that traffic right so let's say I want to hit up youtubers who maybe have a blog but they don't really use it yet and maybe I can take their YouTube videos and turn it into a written blog right so to start things off using copy AI what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to copy AI we're gonna press the chat button on the top left and it's gonna take us to this prompt right so this is actually very similar to chat GPT and how they format it where you can just type anything in there and it will give you answers so for us what we want to do first is we got to come up with with some catchy subject lines. So the prompt I'm gonna use is create 10 catchy email subject lines to write to fitness influencers, uh, YouTube influencers to introduce my service where I help them turn their YouTube videos into long form written blogs to maximize their digital presence, generate more revenue, and I wanna be positioned as an expert in freelance blogging. So once you put that prompt in there, what's gonna happen is it's gonna spit out 10 different subject lines, right? So not every subject line is gonna be perfect, but this is a way for you to get new ideas that you wouldn't have come up with by yourself. And you can kind of change things up, add your own touch to it to make it even better. So we have some things like convert your fitness videos into killer blog posts from YouTube video to blog, reach more audience with our services. Okay, that one's all right, not too great. Boost your revenue with our YouTube to blog service. Okay, that's interesting. That might get someone to uh, open it, right? And so basically what you wanna do is you wanna get the ideas, pick the best ones, massage it a little bit, change it up to make it more human. And then from there, what you can do is you can put it back into the prompt feature and say, hey, I like this subject line can you please create five different variations so now you're getting variations of the one that you want and then you can a b test this to see which one works the best so the whole point of this is that it saves you time you don't have to sit down and come up with 10 subject lines by yourself you can actually just pull from this data set see what's good learn how to curate learn how to use the ai just to speed up the process so you can kind of see like this isn't going to replace anybody's job anytime soon but it's just going to help you speed up your job and make things a lot faster so that you can actually spend more time closing deals. Now, the next step, once you have a catchy subject line is you're going to want to write a body. And so what you want to do is you want to go into copy AI, go into the templates, go into the email section. And then from there, you want to select cold outreach email because they're going to have like these different templates that you can use to make it really easy. And it kind of trains you or teaches you how to use their AI. So you don't have to learn by yourself. Right. And so for me, what we're going to do is, you know, what are you looking to create a cold outreach email? And then uh, what points you want to cover? This is the person I want to reach out to. I am this person. I'm a blogging company. Some information about the recipient. So, you know, Alex is going to be a YouTuber, 200,000 subscribers, hypothetical situation. And then it has to be like they have a website, but they're not using written blog quite yet. Go to the email, provide a catchy subject line, make a personal connection by mentioning something about fitness, focus on relevant pain points. So you can tailor this for your specific ideal customer and your industry. Just use it as an example of how you would be able to use Copy AI, right? So basically you put in all the things that you want the more specific you are, the more tailored it will be for your ideal customer. Now, you don't want to go too general, right? You have to learn how to use the prompts and that's the name of the game. So some of the results aren't going to be the best. You have to find the one that works best for you. And a lot of times you might have to still add that human element touch, especially when it comes to the intro and the close. That's what I personally found that it needs to be worked on. But over time, it's going to get better and better. But for now, you still got to put that human element touch, right? Going into some of the results, like, hey, Alex, I'm a service provider where I help YouTube content creators turn their YouTube videos into long 
long form blogs, right? So I wouldn't say like I'm a service provider. I would probably make it more natural, but you know, you definitely do want to say that you want to turn that YouTube video into a blog. Writing blogs can help increase revenue by getting more exposure, increasing Google SEO ranking. I read your video about how you're interested in writing a blog. This one doesn't really make sense. That line, so you probably take it out. So, I mean, this one's kind of weird because it's just like throwing a bunch of random things in there. So I would not use that one, right? And again, you know, you ask Copy AI to curate different variations until you find something that works. This one's more natural. It's like, hey, Alex, I just want to reach out to see if you're interested in learning more about my service. Or oh, I would actually change the service into like, more specifically what you do, but the next sentence kind of covers that. So I'll probably combine the two. So it's a great way to increase your exposure for YouTube video content and get more traffic from search engine. Here are the benefits of hiring me. Increase Google SEO, increase website links, get more people to watch your video. So this is okay. I like the bullet points, but I would need to change the beginning. So I would probably say like, hey Alex, I was curious to see if you're interested in turning your long form YouTube videos into blogs so you get more traffic in order to generate more revenue or sell more products. Some of the reasons why my clients work with me may include Google SEO, you know, increase website clicks and so on and so forth. And then I would put like some of my clients include X, Y, Z. So you see, it's like, it's not all the way there, but it gives you the idea for you to speed up the process, right? It's not going to write it completely great for you unless you have the perfect prompt. So you can even go back and just keep changing the prompts until you get something you like. Uh, but because I have experience in code email, I can basically take that idea and probably spend like an extra five minutes to make it actually good, right? Now from here, you can actually massage the email a little bit by taking the one you like, putting it back into Copy AI and then from there, ask it to write variations. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get copy and paste one of the results that I gave, and then I'm gonna put it back into the chat prompt feature, and then it's gonna give me different variations, right? So it's like, hi, Alex, came across your YouTube channel, found your fitness videos very inspiring. Okay, this is better, you know, it, it, it's commenting on the YouTube video. I would love to connect with you to discuss how I can help you reach and inspire a wider audience to generate more revenue. Okay, well, how do you do that? Well, my name is Patrick, founder of XYZ, and an online service that helps YouTube content creators turn their long form videos into blogs. We help them increase revenue by getting more exposure, increase SEO, blah, 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 blah. And then I would probably put some of my clients include XYZ. Here's the results that we've got, you know, maybe like 100,000 more extra views on the website, whatever the case is, right? And then if you're interested, feel free to click the link below, book a meeting on my calendar. So I did give it the prompt to have a call to action. I would have to change this. It doesn't feel natural. I would probably say, so if you're interested, feel free to book a time on my calendar. Or if it makes sense to work together, let me know what your calendar looks like. That's something more natural that I would use. But the idea is definitely there. The whole point of this is like by putting this prompt, copy paste it has it gives me a nugget of idea i would probably based on my experience you know if i spent five to ten minutes i can make this a very solid email i would feel very comfortable sending it out right so you want to think of it like a tool that will help you speed up the process not necessarily a tool that will write it for you maybe one day maybe a couple months from now as the artificial intelligence gets better and better maybe it will write it for you but right now that's not necessarily the case it just speeds up the process so for a lot of people i've trained and i've seen especially in the sales development rep a lot of times they get stuck in writing they get like writer's block. So this is one way to just completely take out writer's block. And it's almost as if someone wrote it for you. And you have to say like, okay, it's not that great. Let's edit it and let's make it better. And then from there, create different variations of that better email, A, B, test it, see what works and then do it again and again and again and again. So I would say using this tool versus not using this tool, you know, I would say it would probably increase your productivity rate by at least if your job is purely to write cold emails, the 30 to 50%, I would say if you're like, you know, maybe like less than one year of experience or one or two years of experience. If you're an expert, it's a little different, right? But like, if you're just coming up at sales development rep, it's not really like you're, you're not a master at it. This will definitely save you time, whether you're a rep, whether you're an entrepreneur who has to write the email themselves, you just want to save time so that you can spend more time on the phone, closing more deals. And that's the beauty of AI. You know, it's not really replacing sales development reps, not yet, at least it's just helping them do their jobs so much better. So you have more free time for yourself. And so if you want to check out copy AI, again, check the link in the description to check that out. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'm going to see you in the next one.